Hello everybody, Kixie here, and today I got a bit of a project that I've been working on. So, I have been wanting to make something like this for quite a while. I think since like 1.6 or 1.7, and I just could never figure out how to make it. And then I was looking through Seth Bling's videos the other day, and I noticed that he made a flying platform. And it was exactly what I was trying to go for. And the way he did it was just really awesome. And he basically used uh, com command block minecarts with a set block command. And he just pushed hundreds of these at a time. Just like over one block and it would copy and paste the whole entire area. Just right there uh, once he pushed the minecarts. And it was a really cool system. And I believe it works in 1.7. And so... It is just a really cool idea how he made it and just how it works. And so then I was thinking that, well, first off, it's very laggy because he was copying hundreds of blocks. I think it was like over 500 blocks at a time and just one block at a time with hundreds of these command block minecarts. So it got a little bit laggy and it was a little bit bulky. So I was thinking of ways that I could simplify it or compact it and make it a little bit more fluent. And so what I came up with is actually a 1.8 invention, a Minecraft 1.8. It uses the clone command. So over here you can see in this box I have a, uh, a or what I call the master block. It's basically the block that you don't alter. It just stays there. It sits in its nice little box. So over here, I have a command block that copies whatever's in this box to this location. So if I do it, you don't see anything move because there's already blocks there. So how it actually works is this block right here, the master block, has command blocks in it that clones itself. But it clones itself in a specific direction. So it clones it, but one block forward in that direction. So when you copy the master block and put it somewhere else and you activate one of those command blocks, it copies the original uh, one over there and puts it forward one block in whichever direction you want to walk. So as you can see, this pressure plate, if I step on it, it moves forward by one block. And what this is doing is it's just copying the original uh, set of blocks or the flying platform over there and it just uh, clones it one block forward. And so you could walk any direction you want. This is a uh, four axis machine, actually six axis, because it could go up and down. Uh, so as you can see, I could walk any direction, even diagonals. I threw in diagonals just for uh, easier movement. And then also the wood buttons are to go down and the gray buttons are to go up. And so as you can see, it's pretty easy to move. And the nice thing about this is when it clones the pressure plates, it clones them unpressed. So you could push these pressure plates as fast as you want. So you could see if I kind of, oh, I fell off. But you could see if I step on the pressure plate and then where the pressure plate's gonna potentially be, it's going to jump two blocks immediately because as soon as it teleports, the pressure plate gets pushed again and then it uh, teleports or it clones further ahead. So it's very, uh, it reacts very fast and you could even see if I go with a full sprint uh, it'll keep up and also if you're wondering why these glass windows are here it's because uh, if you're just walking there's no way that you could fall off of this so if you're walking this way and then switch to forward then switch to this side as you can see I'm not falling off whatsoever and it just keeps you in the general area and so one thing that's really nice about this is if you're wondering like how it's not leaving trails of itself around is because I have a one block, uh, one layer of air all the way around this whole entire thing. So you could see these are where the wall is going to be. So I'm cloning anything within inside these walls. So this is air right here, air down below, air above, and air on every single side. And the cloning positions, the first coordinate is right here. So this block right here is the first uh, cloning position. The X, Y, and Z number one. 
and then this is XYZ number two down here. And so if you look in the coordinates I have, or in the commands, I have X, Y, and Z1, and then X, Y, and Z2. And also a cool little feature with 1.8 is if you look at your coordinates and look at a specific block, you can see right here it says looking at, and it gives you the exact coordinates of the block that you're looking at. And so one thing I do want to note is I'm going to have a world download for this, but you have to keep in mind if you're going to put this in your own world you could copy and paste the machine but it won't work because it requires very specific coordinates uh, you can see right here it has very specific ones and it has that in every single block and those coordinates are this machine right here the master block and so if you put this in your own world just remember to keep the same dimensions where you have one air block on every single side I believe it's five tall by 9 by 9 if I'm correct uh, so just keep that in mind if you're going to put this in your own world is get the top coordinate over here I think it's facing let's see let me give you an exact number is facing northwest and then the coordinate 2 is facing southeast so keep those coordinates in mind and that's what you want to copy and paste into the machine and then everything else is relative. So right here, we have the relative coordinates of where it teleports to. So those are relative to the copy. So the copy is here. And so the command block that is being activated has relative coordinates. So it's copying the very specific coordinates of the master block, and it is putting it relative to the copied machine. And now the nice thing about this is since it requires just a copy of the original you could actually make however many copies you want and you could just move around with either one of these you could even have multiple people uh, flying at the same time because it just copies or clones the original and also since these have air blocks they will remove anything that you walk into so it's kind of a pro and con because it's very fun to dig huge areas out with these designs because you could just dig tunnels or dig huge areas uh, with pretty much just like the easiest thing that you can do you just walk and it digs for you but then also the con is it will destroy anything in its path there is nothing that can stop it besides like a clear block command but besides that there's no way to stop it so you want to be very careful with it because it will delete anything that's around it so be careful what you put around it also another cool feature is you might be scared of touching these which I was when I was building this but I found out something really interesting as you can see it's not moving whatsoever why that is is if you look in the command it says source and destination cannot overlap so this is the source this is the source of the clone command and so if you try to move the clone it will actually say that the destination is overlapping and so the clone cannot uh, delete itself or it cannot overlap on itself so you actually don't have to worry about destroying that and I believe if you fly into it with another clone or the uh, destination which is this platform if you fly into it with it, it should not delete the original block. I haven't tested it because I don't really want to, uh, but it should work potentially, or hopefully, <laughs> I don't know. But it shouldn't be able to destroy the original block, so you should be fine with that. Also another thing is since these blocks are here, the air block layer is right at head height, so you actually can't suffocate in walls like if you're trying to go up or down and you're in a tunnel you can't uh, you won't get stuck in walls at all so that will be very nice if you're digging tunnels with this and also another note I wanted to say is I am going to be uploading this I'll have a download link in the in the description and uh, a few issues with or not issues but a few things with the download link is I'm using a new uh, file share provider. I'm using Mega. So uh, for those of you who are going to be downloading it, 
Uh, if you can, just let me know how Mega works out. Uh, it looks like a very good website. I've used it a few times here and there, and I think it'll be the best. Uh, I'm done with uh, Mediafire. That website has just been going down the drain. So, uh, yeah, let me know how the download website works and if you could download pretty easily. And I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.